Hello everyone and welcome back to part 8 of the Unraid series. Uh, today we're going to be discussing Sonar. Uh, it's going to be the Benhex Sonar uh, Docker application. I'm going to go ahead and go over the configuration settings on how to install it, how, how to make sure that it's connected to the Samba Share for your TV shows, and also how to make sure that it's also connected up to the downloads folder for um, Cube BitTorrent. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and log into Unraid. And once you're there, go ahead and go to your apps and look for Sonar. Okay, once you search for Sonar, you're looking for Binhex Sonar. Go ahead and click Install. And then you're gonna have two different directories you're gonna need to correct. All right, so the first one's gonna be um, host path number two. Okay, this is where the uh, data is going to be that you download or that gets downloaded through Q QBitTorrent or QB and let's go ahead and look for mount let's look for cache and then the downloads folder all right and then the other is going to be the media this is where the media is actually stored and we're going to look at the mount user media and then for sonar this is going to be TV shows so we're going to click on that and that's going to be the main directory. So now once we get everything installed, uh, eventually we're going to reference the forward slash media for TV shows and then the forward slash data for the downloads. All right. So go ahead and hit apply. All right. And once it's uh, finished installing, you're going to go ahead and click on done. And go ahead and navigate to the dashboard. And you'll see that it's now added to the Docker containers at the front. Go ahead and click on it, uh, left click, go to web UI, and then it should start up. Now it's gonna go ahead and go over the initial configuration, such as the authentication for it. Uh, the authentication method that we're looking for is the login page, um, or if you wanna pop up, it's up to you. The authentication required, enable, unless you wanna disable it for LAN access. And then we're gonna go ahead and enter our username and password. All right, then hit save. Okay. And then now we're in, now it's been installed, it's ready to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over the basic configuration, um, basic configuration for Sonar. So let's go to system and start there and look at the, uh, the alerts that it's popping off. Um, first off, it says no indexers, and then it says no download client is available, and then no indexers available. So this will get fixed once we fix the indexers. And then the download, let's go ahead and do that first. So let's go to settings. We go over to the download clients. We'll go ahead and look for the, uh, look for qubit or it should be somewhere. Um, And then let's see, Cuba torrent, uh, local host. Let's just go ahead and add the IP address because I think it gave me some issues last time. So 10.0.2.114. All right. And then admin. Okay. TV show, TV sonar, recent priority last. The recent priority, we're going to set it to first. The older priority is going to be set to the last. The initial state, we can leave it at start. The sequential order, um, we can go ahead and check these. I think it usually gives us problems on the initial install. Uh, first and last. And then content layout, we just leave it at set to default. The tags, we'll leave as is. And completed handling downloads. This will basically remove the download from the client. Uh, other than that should be it. Let's go ahead and test it out make sure everything passes. All right, looks like we got some kickback on the recent priority. Um, queuing not enabled. So that's something you would have to enable within uh, QB. And we can... S uh, all right, so for a recent priority, I believe you have to go into the uh, QBit turn and enable that. We can actually do that right quick. Let's go ahead and go back to our 
Okay, let's go to Q Veteran. Let's open that up. Let's look for it. All right, here's the torrent queuing. So it's under the BitTorrent tab. And then you'll go ahead and click on the check for this. And then depending on however many your preferences for active uploads, downloads, and torrents, you'll go ahead and select those there. We'll just leave it as is for now. Go ahead and hit save. And that should enable the uh, queuing. So whenever you have multiple downloads coming in, this will show you the download priority and then it should allow the uh, queuing to take place. So let's go back to the sonar. And now that we've selected uh, tor uh, torrent queuing, all right, we're gonna go ahead and hit test. There we go. So now the recent priority is now allowing first. Okay. And you're also getting the green check mark, which means that the configuration is good. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now we have Qbitrain has been installed. Now let's go back to system. Okay. And it's saying no indexers available for with the uh, RSS sync enabled. So that just means that we have no indexers configured up with sonar. So let's go ahead and get that uh, configured. Uh, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to indexers. And we're going to go ahead and select add. And we're looking for tours now. There it is. And this is going to be set up to jacket. Okay, now once we get that um, labeled, we're going to go ahead and enable RSS, automatic search, and an interactive search. Um, the difference between these automatic search is whenever uh, a new show is added to the, uh, whenever a new show is added to Sonar, it's automatically going to begin searching through that indexer. Uh, the interactive search is when you manually look for, uh, look through the indexers, and it'll show up here. All right, um, so in order to get the URL, um, we're going to use a specialized URL. Okay, um, so typically you can actually just go to Jacket, we'll open it up. And we'll have all these uh, indexers listed. Now, a lot of times, or in a normal case, you would just copy the, the Tours nav feed and paste it to here. Now, there's a link that's not often advertised, and it's going to be this URL here, uh, http colon forward slash forward slash the IP address. In this case, we're going to use uh, jacket is 2.114. Uh, port 9117 and then tours nab all all right so the url that you're going to configure here is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash the ip address colon the uh, port number and then tours nab forward slash all now what's so special about this this uh, url is that when it connects up to jacket okay instead of just using one indexer it's going to go ahead and search through all of these at one time, okay? So whenever a a show is being searched, it's gonna go ahead and just search for the entire directory of indexers instead of just one. So this way you don't have to sit there and add um, an indexer for each uh, indexer in the directory, okay? This is all just one, one stop shop, all right? Uh, the API key you're gonna need And you're going to go ahead and paste that here. Okay. And then the uh, categories, you can leave that there. Anime categories, I don't really mess with anime too much, so I'm just going to leave those alone. Seed ratio, um, uh, overall, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and hit uh, test to make sure everything works. I think it may actually spin if I remember correctly now that I, I'm, I'm looking at it. So it's going to give a yellow triangle which basically just tells me that this right here isn't, uh, it isn't recommended, okay? But it still works. I haven't had any issues running with this. I'm not sure if, you know, you guys have had issues with it or not. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and hit the save button. Okay. And then that should settle the indexers. Okay, now the, that's cleared. 
okay? And lastly, we need to set up a directory to have um, our shows being sent to, okay? So we're gonna go to the uh, settings. Go to media management, okay? And then it's gonna add a root folder, okay? So we're gonna look for uh, I believe it's the media directory. So just click on it one time, hit OK. And then that means the uh, media directory is now going to be the directory that's used for the shows that come in. Um, some other options to add is the rename episodes. Okay, we want to make sure that um, Sonar is taking care of all of our media management needs and organization needs. So it's going to go ahead and rename. Uh, the folders as needed as well as the episodes okay and then here are the directory uh, names and episode names that it'll rename uh, for the most part I just keep all this default unless you have a specific way of doing it okay so what you're gonna do next is hit save changes and so any changes that you've made here will get saved and then let's go back to our series and uh, let's go ahead and add a, a show here for testing We'll just go ahead and use the example there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and select Add Show. So you can already see the directory is uh, forward slash media, forward slash the title. And then you got all episodes, quality. Uh, we can select any. Um, and then series type, that's fine. And then. Um, You'll also have start search for missing episodes, yes. And then start search for cutoff on meta episodes, yes. We'll go ahead and check both of those and then hit add. Okay, so now it's been added. You can see here that it's going to search through the various indexers. Okay, and then once it finds um, some matches, then it's going to go ahead and add it to the vitrant. And you can already see it's already been added. And it's already starting. To, it's already starting to do its work. Okay. Now, um, and that's pretty much it for this episode. Now, eventually, we get down to the Plex, and we'll talk more about how to set up Plex. Uh, and you'll notice that the uh, episodes and TV shows will both um, begin to show up automatically within Plex without any type of intervention being required. Okay, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and if there's any questions or comments or just suggestions or features that you guys want for additional videos, please leave those in the comments below. Um, I'll also provide the uh, URL link that I used for uh, Sonar to basically be able to search through Jacket. Uh, and again, that URL is not, not too, uh, too much recommended, but... Like I said, it works for me. I'm sure it'll work for you guys. If you have issues with it, you can always use the Tours Nav feed to, uh, to get that going. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, until next time.